guys, welcome to Books and Key. I am Key, and today I will be doing the what makes me pick a book up tag. Yeah, what makes me pick up a book tag. So I have all the questions here on a piece of paper. Let's talk about what makes me pick up books. So the first question is, do you judge a book by its cover? No. I am not that person who goes into a bookstore and I'm like, oh, interesting cover. I'll buy that and see how it works out. No, I always have a running list of books that I want. So there is no question of being attracted to the cover. I'm attracted to the plot description and possibly to the reviews. The next question is focusing just on the cover. What attracts you to pick it up? So if I really had to talk about what I like in a cover, I really like warm colors. And I like illustrated covers. I hate covers that have photos on them. Or you know when they have this movie tie-in or Netflix adaptation or whatever, they put the actors on the cover. I hate that. The third question is, do you read the synopsis or prefer to go in without knowing anything about the book? The synopsis is what draws me in. And even if I don't read the synopsis, but someone I trust talks about it and the plot sounds interesting, I will pick it up. I cannot waste money by just going into a book blind. I can't do that. So the fourth question is, do you have any auto buy authors? No. There are authors whose entire repertoire of works I love. Alex Rutherford, um, Indu Sundaresan, Jenny Lawson, um, most of Gretchen Rubin's stuff, um, Rainbow Rowell. But I will not go out and buy everything that they write automatically. I'll wait for it to come out. Anyway, it comes out late in India. I'll wait a bit and see the reviews and then buy it. But if it's a series, I will auto buy the next book in the series if I like the book that I'm reading. The fifth question is, are you more likely to pick up a book if it includes specific themes? Yes, absolutely. I like mythology. I like historical fiction, which has World War II themes. Um, I like books with mental health representation. And what I love the most are family dramas with these dysfunctional family relationships. The sixth question Do you read a book that has generally bad reviews just to form your own opinion of it? No. Life is too short and money doesn't grow on trees. No. The seventh question is, do you ever buy a book because another booktuber or blogger has reviewed it or talked about it a lot? Absolutely. I have auto buy vloggers, booktubers, bloggers, book reviewers. I don't have auto buy authors, but if someone I trust is talking about the book, I will absolutely buy it. So I have Jotsna from Jotsna's Bookscapades. I have Nashwa from Nashwa S. I have Emma from Drinking by My Shelf. Um, I have Emily May who is on Goodreads. She used to have a book blog, but she doesn't have it anymore. Um, so those are people whose recommendations I will pick up like this. The last question is, is there anyone whose book recommendations you will generally always trust? Yes, I just mentioned them. So if I trust them enough, I will just buy the book. There's another one I forgot to mention. Emily from Arc Schooling. I love Emily. And historical fiction is also a favorite genre. So she always gives really, really good recommendations. I will link all these channels or Goodreads links below if I can find all of them. So you can check these people out. They read amazing books and their recommendations are on point. And that's it. Those are all the questions for what makes me pick up a book tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this tag. I tag Sonali from Melodramatic Bookworm, I tag Jotsna from Jotsna's Bookscapades, and I tag Smriti of Sant Reads. I hope they do this tag because I would love to see their answers. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe. It is absolutely free and you will get bookish content from me every week. Thanks guys. Bye.